Happy Friday, everyone, and how are you? It is Tori from ToriMania.com, and I am here to talk to you today as we begin our series of mental illness awareness diagnosis with ADHD, which is Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, or ADD, which is just Attention Deficit Disorder. There is no difference. I, when I grew up, they, they called it ADHD, so that's or when I was diagnosed, that's what they called it. So that's what I call it. And there you have it. Um, I must preface by saying I am not a doctor, psychologist, psychiatrist, therapist, social worker, school counselor, nothing. I am nothing like that. I am just a patient of ADHD. I'm just a sufferer. Um, I'm just a survivor that has ADHD. And I speak from my experience today and see if anybody resonates with it. And next week, I'm going to have for you more detailed information, more meat and potatoes of it. You know, check the DSM and um, do some research and try to find out more than just, you know, the regular, like, are you distracted? Yeah, I'm obviously distracted. Um, Try to find more information on how to cope with it and how to live with it that's beyond the regular, you know, like, are you hyperactive? Yes, I'm hyperactive. I hate that when, you know, the doctor asks you that question, like, have you always been a hyper child? Oh my God, just give me the Ritalin. Anyways, um, so with that being said, uh, we'll, we'll start with that. Um, I take six Ritalin a day I supplement that with four to six espressos during the day plus one cup of coffee in the morning to self-medicate. I used to take nine Ritalin a day, worked like a charm. Uh, Insurance was like, that is unhealthy for you and we're going to stop. If I had an extra thousand dollars a month, I could buy that extra bottle of Ritalin for cash and sell it on the street for a hundred dollars pill. Or at least dream about it or take the medication and actually be functional. So that's one thing. Um, So I take a lot of pills to stay up and focused and I'm I'm barely hanging on by a thread. And as you can tell, um, I'm blurty, I'm a little hyper, I'm a little, I'm all over the place. And I just always remember having this Tasmanian devil thing like going on in my head like all the time, just trying to sleep, waking up, doing, and the only thing that would really get me out of it would be like music with a hypnotic beat. I really like dance music, you know, because of that just thud, 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 uh, and motion, music and motion would get me out of it. And um, if I would hyper-focus on something, I like to write. So I would, you know, I'll be writing something and I'll be deep in thought and then when you get in that, it's called hyper-focusing, and that's great if you're hyper-focusing on the right thing. But if, you know, you're supposed to be working and you're hyper-focusing on, like, old Beavis and Butthead reruns, then that's not, it's amusing. But, you know, save the TP for your bunghole for a later time. Um, with that being said, being pulled out of hyper-focus is completely physically painful and absolutely enrages me and my husband has made the mistake of doing that to ask me something dumb literally I'll be like in something working working on the blog working on the vlog working on social media doing something this is my first foray into like having a real job for myself that it's not a job but it's it's a life and I'm deep in it and then he'll be like can I go to Dunkin' Donuts? Like, you asked me that for. Just go. 46-year-old man. What, I mean, you don't even leave. So irritability comes with the, the party because you're always kind of in motion in some way. Even if you're sitting still. Like there's bouncing knees. There's clicking pens. There's... Um, all sorts of stuff. I don't know if any of this is resonating with anybody. 
Some of it is um, there's different you know ways to manifest your your ADHD the way it comes out on you. You may run around a lot. You may blurt and talk and cut people off. You may always be running late. You may always be losing things. You may always have like a pile of spirals and stuff like in an attempt. I don't know. There it is. Like a never ending attempt to be organized and it and you never are. Like a fresh piece of paper is a godsend because it's like another chance to be organized, but but you're not. You're not. And as always, here's Maya. She doesn't know it, but she's going in the car. Room vroom. Um what can I say? I grew up being called lazy and stupid, but then at the same time, I was told that I was smart and people wanted to know why I didn't apply myself. Well, that was because I was bored. Oh, it's my dog here to cough in the living room and distract me. That's great. Um, yeah, I was bored. I failed my freshman year of high school out of boredom. And, um, aw, Weddy. No, no. No. He gets his pills today. Um, I failed freshman year of high school because I didn't go to classes because they were boring. And I didn't think I was learning anything. Math would not serve me in my purpose because I was going to be a famous writer and just sit in cafes and write the great American novel. So uh, English would have been helpful, but I didn't go to that either. Instead, I hung out with my friends or went home to watch Oprah and eat eggs. Um, I was given Charles Dickens' A Tale of Two Cities to read, and I couldn't get past. Uh, it was the worst of books. It was the worst of books. It was the worst of books. Um, I threw the book away, told him that I, it was just too redundant. I knew the guy was paid by the word, and he was completely like repeating himself just to get more money, and um, I would rather take the F than read the book. And he said okay and gave me the F, and I was completely content. And I don't know if that's ADHD or just rebellion or being a teenager, but I, I couldn't I couldn't read stuff. I'd read the same paragraph over and over and over and over again and just nothing. It it wasn't worth it. it wasn't worth it. Not your sanity, not when you're that young. And even as an adult, now you know, I'm looking at something that doesn't make sense to me. I'll I'll hand it to a professional and be like, explain this, or I just will have nothing to do with it. Aw, Weddy. Poor guy. Sorry you guys have to listen to that, but um, we're supposed to be creative people. Lots of famous people have ADHD that are creative. We will talk about them with our next installment of ADHD. Um, do we talk about losing things? Do we talk about getting locked out of your web pages, losing your passwords, losing your keys, imper impulsive blurting, cutting people off, swearing? getting derailed, um, starting on a task, then being dragged to another task, and then going to another task, and then going to another task, and then winding up where you were, and then you did like six things but did nothing at the same time, then you are hanging with some people that have ADHD. Um, and those are just some of the things. Uh, the things that did work for me was one-on-one -on -one learning. Um, learning to music, hooked on phonics, was awesome. It was a godsend. Um, Hands-on, like being told what to do while I did it. Once I had that, had it down. Easy. Um, like I said, I'm learning this blog, vlog, social media thing by myself. I'm teaching myself. I'm starting to meet people that are offering me help, and I couldn't be more thankful for it. Um, but I'm still like a crazy, hot, disorganized mess. Um, here's my calendar. You'll notice that these are all blank because there's too much stuff in it. I couldn't focus on the stuff I was supposed to do today, so which is still incomplete. So I just ripped the other pages off. And then it fell on the floor when I put it back on the couch. But that's how it goes. So does any of this resonate with you? Um, did I forget anything? Do you have symptoms that I didn't mention? Um, do you want to share your experience? Do you know someone that has it, that, that lives with it, that when you, you know, 
when they're hyper focusing and you interrupt them, they scream at you because they know it's going to take 30 minutes to get back to where they were. So they might as well just watch YouTube and watch my friend Allie, who also has ADHD, who is super awesome. And I'm putting her link in the box below, as well as my contact information so we can be social media friends. Um, once again, I'm Tori from Tori Mania, and I thank you for spending some time with me. I hope this was helpful. I'd love to hear from you and what you want to learn about as far as so, uh, mental health awareness, medication, diagnosis. I can make it happen. Think of me as your handy little mental health helper. Yes, I finally have a purpose in life. For real, I do. I'm happy about it. Thanks for being with me. I love you guys. I will see you next week. Take care. Oh, and subscribe and ring the bell. And if you go to my blog at torymania.com, subscribe there too so you get content for the next week. Easy peasy. Okay, love you again. Bye. And thank you.